Welcome into another brief tutorial, uh, more messing with paper. I've done a previous tutorial on how to crumple up a piece of paper into a wadded up ball. In this one, we're going to do flipping a piece of paper like it is, uh, flip or curling a piece of paper like it's flipping a page and combining those animations together to flip through multiple pages. So let's start with a fresh scene. So I'm going to do a new general here. I'm going to hit 7 on my keyboard to get a top view. I'm going to shift A and add a mesh plane. Now, I want this to have the dimensions of a piece of paper, so I'm going to end open up my toolbar. On scale, I am going to do 8.5 divided by 12, so I can get the width of a piece of paper. And I'm going to do 11 divided by 12 in the y-axis to get the uh, height of a paper and then I'm just going to control A and I'm going to apply that scale. I'm going to uh, zoom in just a little bit just so that we can see this a little better. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we want to change the origin point uh, so that it will uh, flip on the binding. So I'm going to tab in here. I'm going to do a GX. I'm going to pull that paper all the way over to set the origin on the side so that if we were to rotate Y, it will rotate on that edge. Um, so let's go ahead and put a little basic uh, keyframe in here. So I'm going to lock uh, rotation. I'm going to move over to 25. I'm going to go over here to my Y rotation. I'm going to do negative 180. And that will give me that, that full flip. And I'm just going to hit I to keyframe that. So we just have a basic animation going here. But you can see our paper is stiff. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to subdivide this guy. I'm going to subdivide it three times uh, so that we have some vertices to work with. I'm going to tab back out of that. And I'm going to jump over here to the modifiers. And we're going to add a simple, um, simple deform modifier. And we want it to bend. Uh, and we want to bend on the Y. So as you can see here, uh, it's not doing anything. Hmm, that's no fun. Uh, let's give it something to interpret, inter interpolate against uh, so it knows where the origin is. So I'm going to hit uh, Shift A and I'm going to add an empty and just do a plain axis. I'm going to go back to my modifier and I want to set that empty as the axis. Now let's watch. Oh, look at that. Now the first thing I notice is I don't have clean vertices, so I'm going to right click and shade smooth so that it looks a little better there. And watch it go. Now what you'll notice is the way it's interpolating against that origin point. As soon as it starts to go, it bends and then it overbends at the end. And so we're going to get rid of that with a, with a sine wave using a controller. So we're going to right click on the angle and we're going to, I mean a, a driver rather, uh, and we are going to do a sine wave. So we're just going to do sine uh, times the variable. The variable is going to be the plane and it's going to be the Y rotation of that plane. Now look at this. Now our paper folds over and lays flat. but we're not going to perfectly bend a piece of paper. So what we want to do is we want to add a little bit of twist at the top. So I'm going to add one more modifier. It's going to be another simple to form. This time it's going to be a twist. I'm going to move this up above the other modifier. Um, and we're going to do this on the Y axis. And we're going to use the exact same controller, uh, or driver rather, uh, as we did on the other one. So I'm going to copy the driver from here and I'm going to paste the driver here and then look how we are now pulling that top sheet of paper. And if we want to repeat that uh, process what we can do is I can hit Shift D and make say five instances of this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the second plane and with both of my keyframes selected I'm going to get and I'm just going to pull that over to 10 I'm going to go to my next one get pull the keyframes over to 20 go to the next one get pull the keyframes over to 30 and then on the last one I'm going to get and I'm going to pull the keyframes over to 40 
Uh, we're going to change this to end at 80. And looky there. We're now flipping pages. Simple, uh, simple deform to simulate turning pages. I hope this was helpful. I hope you would uh, hit that uh, subscribe button so that as I come out with new tutorials, as I learn new things, uh, I can share them with you. I would greatly appreciate it. Till the next time.